Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have another Dollar Tree Easter DIY. I'm going to be making three super easy and expensive projects and then I do have a clean with me and decorate for spring video coming up soon so stay tuned for that and let's get started on these projects. Alright guys and these are the materials we're going to be using for our first project. I'm going to be using two packs of these little carrots. some reindeer moss, craft sticks, a picture frame which looks like this but I went ahead and painted the back of it white. I did a show on a previous video how I painted that. White paint to paint your picture frame, some brown paint, and a foam brush. So the first thing you want to do for this project is you want to go ahead and use some white paint and your foam brush and then just go ahead and paint the inside of the picture frame white and that's how mine looks. So the next step is we're going to grab some of these craft sticks. And that's how that's going to look when you're done. Alright, now with our brown paint, we're going to go ahead and start painting our little fence. Alright, now that the little wooden fence is dry, it's going to look like this. Now with our picture frame, what we're going to do is we're going to center our little fence in the middle of our picture frame and we're going to hot glue. that's how that looks. Now with our reindeer moss. And that's how the bottom looks there. Now we're going to grab our carrots. And that is how that looks. And that's the final look to this project. All 
All right, and these are the materials we're gonna be using for the next project. Here I have one, two, three, four packs of these little carrots, some twine, scissors, and some small clothespins. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your twine and you're gonna grab your carrot and a little clothespin. I'm gonna place some hot glue around the clothespins just to keep them in place. All right guys, and this is the final look. Of how our little carrot garland turned out. And these are the materials we're gonna be using for our last project. I'm using one of these Easter signs. And from here, we're only gonna be using the bunny, brown paint, a glass candle holder, and a foam brush. And we're also gonna be using the wooden little dowel from the foam brush. So the first thing I did, I went ahead and removed the little bunny from the Easter sign. All I did was use a butter knife and I popped it off. And now that your hot glue has dried, this is the end result to this project. All right guys, and that's gonna be the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you guys some ideas to decorate for Easter. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys hit that little bell button so you guys get notified every time I post a new video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And if not, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.